Indeed. Reno and Rafam. Yeah, this one was cool because it's just a question about the Reno and Rafam because there's data mining stuff with them. You're like, well, where, where are they? What's the crack there? And Steve took it as a fantastic opportunity to talk about how they view Hearthstone in the World of Warcraft world and canon. And ultimately it was Hearthstone is not canon. They are happy to make references, but they have to be crystal clear that those references do not carry any weight beyond the reference itself. So Reno and Rafam showing up, if Reno, for an example, isn't a dragon in World of Warcraft, that they're allowed to do that. Just because he's there doesn't mean that everything that happened involving Reno is canon. Same Jane with Rafam. is not a dreadlord because yeah. she has a dreadlord skin. And yeah, exactly. And that's the idea of references. In well, don't carry all the canon. Dragonflight did not in any in, in any way intend to bring Reno and Rafam. And the Galakron connection is because that was what the character the the question was leaning into. And ultimately, it was just weird. Careful about that. Hearthstone's not canon. And it won't be unless we want to bring specific elements in. And when we do, we'll be clear about them. Because because otherwise, that's a big kettle of fish. And it's like people will be able to draw like even tiny connections about stuff that's not canon anymore. And I thought that was a really good question. It was really it was answered very well. They clearly did a lot of thinking about it and how to even communicate it. Mm. And I thought that was pretty impressive. But then the next one. Oh, boy. I have off. Yep. Yeah, so nothing particularly planned about the eye. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, if we think back to that period... Yep. A lot of circumstances. Um, but Nazoth's lines are super deliberate. They are written by Steve to set things up specifically. Yep. In general, some are deliberate, others are misdirections. Nazoth was very clever. If he got some possibilities tipped to him via our messing around with time, it's interesting to think about that and what it could mean. Yeah. Ahem. Watch our video about the time bullshit. Yep. So <laughs> uh, uh, so it's it's good to know that matters. But he says, well. He doesn't say if it's a, we already changed the past, or if it will be, there are new outcomes uh, because of what we did. Mm -hmm. But he did say that it's worth examining what Nazoth and his minions slash allies have said and done. Yes, so that leads me to believe that it was, and I should say the lines we say about that he, he wrote are, are the ones in the Black Empire yes. time bit. Those ones where it's, oh, I know you, etc. And I think to me that is very much... Yeah. It leans to me towards we already changed the past because if we're supposed to look at what things have already been said, then I imagine that's them going, okay, how can we weave what exists and make this more interesting going back? So it is nice. It's a good example of them ideally having plans and setting things up a couple expansions ahead in advance. Maybe even it's just them like having uh, gambits in play to see what how things go. go. Oh, well, if we do this, we always have this to lean back on. But ultimately, I think it was very, very cool that we actually might have uh, have some content to make where we go, what has Nazoth done throughout his time? What would he do? Why would he do this if he knows what he knows? Why would he corrupt Deathwing if he knows what he knows? Why would Curse of Flesh? Why would the Curse of Flesh exist? Uh, well, obviously, that wasn't Nazoth. That was Yogg's but Rom, they were but... all working as a team at that point in time. Yeah. So... Like the example of uh, the Emerald Dream... It was like that touched uh, Yogg, mm -hmm. and then Yogg, I believe, passed it over to Nazoth because it like was more naturally fitting. Yeah, it's the sort of thing. The back in the Black Empire days, they were all in like natural chaos and war with each other. Mm. But then once Yashar's got fucked, they decided to kind of not yeah. necessarily buddy up, but you know, they're allied. And the enemy, etc. Yeah. So I think that that's that was the the most fun part for the interview being literally. Oh, I think this has confirmed a lot of how we're thinking about it as we're thinking on the right track. And I know he said, I know a lot of people have made videos and stuff and a lot of Reddit posts, but he did say he saw that people are having a lot of fun thinking about this kind of thing. So I was just like, yeah, we are. This yeah. is very good. This is very good. If you can, if you can keep the rules clear enough for us to have good directed speculation, then we will have a hell of a good time doing very direct speculation. Just be careful that we don't end up accidentally spoiling the expansion, yeah. which is what I'm. It's, I hope to try. I hope to try that. <laughs> it's it's all, man. <laughs> if only J Lore didn't suck. Yeah. It's. Do you know what I? I think the community almost needs, and I know that there's almost certainly plenty of good explanations and things to talk. Mm. Uh, about with it but you know the way that like there's kind of the preach ian talks where it's like hey look i know that the community thinks and you know that i know that the community thinks let's talk um i think one of those about 
some of the recent pros and cons of the narrative. Uh, I, I think that could potentially be useful mm -hmm. to de-meme Steve. And yeah. also to help, like, um, de-meme the game. Yes. Because it's that strange thing. You know, we, we do, uh, you know, we call things how we see them. So during the Jailer times, we were very, very, very critical. Very, very critical. But even in patch 9.2.5, very positive. Even though that was still Shadowlands and all the bad of Shadowlands was still bad. But I thought the narrative of that patch was really good. And we've enjoyed okay. the narrative this time a hell of a lot. Um, but I think for a lot of people, you know, obviously Jailer happened. And that kind of like damaged their investment. And uh, I guess it's like our job is to be the canary in the coal mine, right? Yeah. So, you know, we kind of make the noise either to tell people, come on in, it's going to be really fun. Or, you know what? Don't invest too much in this. It's not really that great. That's kind of like our function. But um, <coughs> certainly there were enough of the bad times that now that there are the good times, I think a lot of people are finding it hard to get on board. Not in a way that's me blaming them at all. Uh, you know, the, the suspicion about things is very natural and earned mm -hmm. um, by, you know, by Shadowlands. But I just think it's something interesting to think about. Yeah. Um, so for other things, the Ethereals. Yeah, I knew I'm you'd enjoy so this happy. specifically. Yep. I'm so happy about this one because, um, you know, something we noticed, but it was really Jared who brought this to me in 2020. Hmm. I believe it was. We did oh, that, that video. Yeah, we did our video on the Ethereals, uh, which I guess if you'd like to watch something. Yeah, March 2020, man. Uh, yeah, this video. Back when we had that intro. Yeah. Very good. Um, oh, it's during this patch and everything. Uh, but yes, yes. Um, we we made this video about the uh, the Ethereals and Shadreen and all that stuff. And I think we were really early to the punch in this one. I was happy. We were early in this one. We were early in Muzala. I was always happy yeah. about that. Um I am, of course, Nikki's on the team because we have nice transitions and nice yeah. effects. Um, but yeah, anyway. Oh my. Uh, Hang on. Well, Does this content look better? No. The lighting looks better, dude. Oh, lighting looks better, yes. Lighting that's, looks better. That's because there's a bit of effort in the lighting. I don't really need as much of an insane fake comb over anymore. Yeah. God, that's pretty egregious, isn't it? Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty cringe. Anyway, this is really this is really good video. I recommend you I check love, it out. I love this past exploration. Oh, past exploration is always so much fucking mental damage. I mean, it could be worse. It could be as bad as fucking mine. Anyway. Oh, so it's so close in as well. God, oh, yeah. I've, I've got the willies now. Anyway, um, mm -hmm. that was a good video. And uh, basically, Steve just said, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that all matters. Yeah. Most we'll do it when it's appropriate. Yeah, I very much, I very much like that. It was just, yeah, this is, this is, this is it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it when the time is right. They'll be back. All that stuff's very intentional. It's all, it's all there. Yeah. But I like the 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 idea that they're void and nether touch. So it's like a little bit of the chaos in there, a little bit of the possibility. Because he did, it wasn't part of a, like a specific question, but there's a little bit of the. Um, uh, throughout when he's talking about cosmic forces, he grouped a couple of them in under chaos. He grouped. Was it fell life and uh, void in under chaos? And he seemed to take uh, take joy in talking about them thematically and what they actually mean and what they what what the, the how they'll act as general forces and come together and stuff. So there's a little bit of that and him talking about them being void is like, yeah, I can see them being they they like opportunity, they like chaos, they like possibilities. So it's very much we're in for a we're in for a. As long as it gets across the players, we're in for a pretty tightly themed couple of expansions. Be balance. I think, yeah. Well, even the two of us. Yeah. You represent order. I represent chaos. Yeah. <laughs> Which yeah. means he's got his shit together and I don't have my shit together, mm -hmm. uh, realistically. Mm -hmm. uh, player decided story stuff. Basically, Rathian, Sabellian stuff ain't a vote. It's not like they're going to take sentiment of, you know, who got the most rep points and, and, and yeah. do something because yeah. it wasn't framed like that from the get go. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, and also just you know, like online votes, maybe not always the best way to do things. 